Oh, I missed this. Here we go. Hey, good morning. How do you do? Hey. We've got some things special for you. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is about how long it's going to last for you. <laughs> my guess. 45 minutes. I'm yeah. still on feet. All right. All right, let's get on it. Number six, here's another retired uh, Girl Scout badge that no longer exists due to the changing times. This is the old Laundress uh, Girl what? Scouts. Uh, the Laundress Girl Scouts were rewarded this badge, badge, excuse me, for learning homemaker activities like washing, mm. ironing, starching shirts, and pressing skirts. The lost and to be art. fair, it is. There was a similar Boy Scout badge. It was known as the Laundry Man. Yeah. Well, I'll so. tell you what, you might not need a patch for it, but. I got to teach my girls how to iron a shirt in a decent way. It's just that you, you forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have. It's a life skill. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they. I, they yeah. I mean, what are you doing? That's yeah. a. That's a hot mess. You yeah. have to yeah. go. You know. Yeah. Typically, uh, bad parents. Uh, yeah. The it's, ones who, I didn't uh, teach them well. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Number five. <laughs> uh, pigs are noisy little creatures. Oh yeah. But there may be more to those grunts and squeals than meets the eye. Pig scientists say each noise may be associated with a different emotion. They created an algorithm to analyze thousands of pig sounds and are looking into what each one means. They found that shorter noises that go from higher to lower frequencies were associated with positive emotions. Longer squeals with high-pitched sounds were usually attached to negative emotions. The hope is to one day make this information useful yeah. to farmers. All I right, prefer then. to just assume they have no emotion. Yeah. It just makes the whole doing? thing a lot easier. Come on. We need to be putting our research into a little bit better things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like how to shorten up the drive through line, yeah. uh, <laughs> restaurants, things like that. Mm -hmm. Checking on pigs' emotions. There was something the other day that I was saying, why does this still take so long after right. all this yeah. time? Mm -hmm. We're busy what sending was it? people to the moon. We can't get things straightened out here. And all this time, I still haven't. Wait, I'll get say. back you're, to it. I you're can't. Thinking I'm, out loud. I know. All right, number four. <laughs> Looking for more privacy at home? Try this hack. Just hang some curtains. Oh! Interior designers say adding curtains to an interior doorway is an inexpensive way to separate spaces. Well, let's say between a dining room and living room. It allows for extra privacy, and it looks, look at how fabulous it yeah, looks. Yeah, my it? goodness. What are you also, doing in the dining room that you need privacy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how expensive is a door? It's adding flair. Uh, it adds yeah. drama. Yeah. Okay. You use fun fabrics that yeah. make a statement, Larry. Uh, it yeah. complements the room. Yeah, well, when I step into the dining room, all I'm concerned about is eating. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't where's eat? my bag of meat, Lisa? <laughs> Skip the flare. <laughs> Just give me the meat. <laughs> oh, let me, let me write that down. I think I had a bumper sticker. <laughs> I think I did have that on his bumper sticker once. Uh, number three, looking for a way to keep fit. Try reverse running. Oh, yeah, we showed this the other day. It's a big trend for 2022. Yeah. Searches for reverse running were up 50% this year. Fitness scientists say running backwards exerts less pressure on the knees, right. builds stamina, and improves posture. It's a hit with people who have tried it, though they say it makes them look right. silly. Yeah. If you yeah, want to give it a try, yeah. keep in mind, you need to have some level of fitness to attempt this. It's not something you just decide to do one day. Well, like, don't be telling people, Larry. Yeah, people can go out and do what Especially they want to do. seniors yeah. out there. But Senior. if you're going to do it, make sure you wear really tight shorts. <laughs> yeah. 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 And or sure. very short. Yeah. 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 And I love how they say searches are up 50%. That could mean two people yeah. searched right. instead yeah. of one. Exactly. I mean, right. okay. Yeah. All right, number two. There is a new documentary coming out focusing on automats of the 60s and 70s. Oh, yeah. I don't think they were in the 70s. I think it was like 40s and 50s, What's wasn't it? Well, you would know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's older. If you're not familiar, let me fill you in. See? Right. Automats are self service kiosks. It's our hot, fresh food. No tipping, no server. It's just coin operated machines for the guys and gals out there serving <laughs> simple meals. You get things like mac and cheese, Salisbury steak, baked oh, beans, yeah. mashed potatoes, Jeez. sandwiches, or pie. I love the Salisbury There were cooks beans. in the back making the food, but you never saw them. You only saw your food in the window <laughs> waiting for you to grab it. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I think I should come back. Yeah. Wow, Joe. Say, Mac, my game needs a tuna sandwich. <laughs> See? Oh. <laughs> Where did we find this song? Yeah, I thought, what's, what musical is that from? Is that uh, South Pacific? Uh. Yeah.
Number one, uh, here's something they might not have taught you in history class, the Great Stink. It uh, happened in England back in 1858 <laughs> and in 1858. Oh. Okay. Conditions on the River Thames were downright disgusting. The water was filled with rotten food, human waste, industrial chemicals, the oh. entire city reeked. It was so unbearable that people tried disinfecting curtains with chloride of lime to help make the stench, uh, mask the stench. Didn't help. Nothing helped until engineers were called in to build new sewers and drainage systems. It took $4.2 million in nine years to fix the problem and get rid of the great stink for good. That would be $590 million in mm. today's money. Jeez. What reeks in here? All right. All right. Six, six, six. Yep. Here's what's going on with our weather. We're going to see.